All right, and welcome back to another interesting installment of Mind Test Gameplay of Swords. Yes. And today, we are going to look at two mods. Um, due to a comment on one of my videos of how do I make the pictures in my builds. The actual paintings and stuff like that. So, I have reviewed these two mods before. And basically, it was just an overall review of them with a brief description of how to add pictures, but we're going to walk through the procedure for adding a pictures. So this mod, uh, Paintings, Pictures, and Animations, Gimaldi, or Gimaldi, um, that's one of them, and the Billboards mod uh, from Clyde is another one, and both effectively do the same thing. They add paintings and pictures and what whatnot to your to your builds, but they go about it in different ways. So I'm going to show how I add them to my builds. You can find these these uh, links to these mods if you go to my website and go to mob mods used. Yes, uh, speaking is optional today. And they are in here. I got to find a better way. Here's the billboard mod and two below it is the painting pictures and animations mod to the forum post and to the GitHub page for that. So what we are going to do is we are going to get over there. So first we're going to start out with a picture and this is a lovely picture of a flower. I have no idea what kind of flower it is. I took it um, at one of our parks and here's some more pictures. This is a real cool uh, picture from my patio that I oilified. I'll show that in a second. Here's a real cool picture at a lake one morning that I took in the fog on my way home from work. And you get the picture. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. And here's, here's one that I've already completed, which we are going to add to a mod. So, you can see there's a real nice cool border around it. And its dimensions are 440 by 440. I will explain that. The original picture um, was, I believe, 4,000. I can't find the original picture. I'm sure it's in here. So, there it is. The original picture was 4032 by 3024. So, what we are going to do is one of the one of the programs that I use and the reason why I use this is because of the different filters and effects this just makes it real quick so you import your photo and there are different really cool filter effects and you you could get it however elaborate that you want to get with this so this is not the photo that we're going to use it's one of them that I want I want to use and we are going to look at uh, I believe it's this one yes it is and we are going to ooh that's nice we are going to play with it a little bit and we're going to do some effects now any photo editor that you're comfortable with using is basically going to uh, do what you want with this. So we're going to see, ooh, that's nice. There's another one in here that I found, a vintage, and it's called HK Film. Eh, that doesn't look good on this one. Nope, let's go back to Serenity and Bloom. We'll keep that one. And I'm going to add a border. Now, I, it, you don't have to. Anything in here, this is just a, a basic guideline. We have different uh, frames and borders that we can use. It's kind of cool, except it's too big. We're going to go into the gallery, and this is a frame that I usually use. Hmm. And there's other ones in here, too. There's stamp. Um, it, it, personal preference. So I'm not going to waste a lot of time on this. I'm just going to pick uh, my favorite frame here and I'm going to export it and we're going to call this um, 
flower yellow. I am going to make this a, a, a portrait. Now the standard one that I use is 440 and we are going to save it as a PNG and where am I going to save it at? In photo tutorial, flower yellow. I like that. Now I could save that, but we're going to exit out of here and you can, there's a lot of different, a lot of different things that one can do with this. So here's our completed photo. It's 440 by 329 and it's got a picture frame around it. Real cool. So then we're going to go in, we're going to make a new picture out of this and you can, I'm going to start with GIMP. So in GIMP, I'm going to hide this layer. I'm going to go back to my background and I am going to import an image open as a layer and we're going to go find my yellow flower or my flower yellow there it is I should uh, add well okay you can see in the background here the background layer is 440 by 440 so if I wanted to come up here, create new, and I created an image size of 440 by 440 with a transparent background. That's very important. And we can create a new one here. Here's our new one. So we created that. And now we're going to open as layers. Now I am not by any stretch of the imagination, um, a expert on GIMP, Photoshop, anything. My skills are passable, <laughs> um, but it gets the job done and, and I'm having a lot of fun learning about doing this. So you can see here we have our image and the thing I like about GIMP when importing a layer and into another layer is that it centered it. And I'll show that in Krita in a, in a second. So we wanna make sure we're on our, our flower yellow layer and we can bring this up a little bit. The, the picture quality really isn't for what we're using it for. Don't be, you don't have to have this 100% perfect, but we can go into our filters and we can add different, different filters. Now I love this filter. It's called canvas and I'm going to reduce the depth and this will give it a painting. This is how I get my painting effect. So that's real cool. Or there's another one in here in filters, artistic called Oilify. And that's cool. The only problem is, is if you're going to do something like that, um, let's add, let's add, let's select something here because I, I kind of cancel. I'm going to select this and then I'm going to apply that same filter again because that, that was kind of cool. Oilify. So it leaves the frame alone, but it just oilifies the picture. Hmm. That's cool. So it gives the effect of an oil painting. And so we're going to cancel out of that. We are just going to stay in here now you could you could save this for future use but we're going to export it so basically right off the bat i created a, a transparent layer and the layer has to be square so um the different the two different mods um the billboard mod i believe it will not do more than a three by three uh block it limits it so I chose uh, my other paintings that are in there are 440 by 440 or 640 by 640. So it, it, no matter what you choose, it has to be a square and you're going to have to play around to get the dimensions that you want um, on there. So on here, I have my, I created my transparent layer after putting out, you know, doing what I wanted to do with the photo. And I imported my photo as a layer. 
and you can see there's transparency around this, which is which is important. So what we are going to do now is we're going to export it. And if you don't, if you don't have that transparent layer behind there, it'll smush the picture because the mods are automatically squaring it. So we're going to come in here and we're going to name this. Um, we are going to name it flower yellow one and we're going to save it as a PNG in my photo tutorial and the compression level doesn't ah gotta love gotta love GIMP for whatever reason GIMP likes to hang up on the Mac a little bit it's not gonna work and now it appears oh it appears that GIMP there we go there's certain things that uh, GIMP does on a Mac that, uh, so we have it. So that's in GIMP. So you can get, you, you're, you could be artistic. Your limits are only going to be your imagination. So you could see how just applying different filters to your picture, it, it's how detailed that you want to get. And a lot of the techniques in here can be used on other pictures and other ideas that you have. So I didn't have to add this frame. I didn't have to do a lot of stuff in here. So that's GIMP. Now, what we're going to do is there's also Krita. And in Krita, it's very similar. There's a lot of the same filters. And we have our, our layer here, which I, I made a 440, by 440 and what I'm going to do here is um, I wanted to see a uh, create a different doesn't matter create a different one yeah so we have our we have our we have our base layer here which is a transparent 440 by 440 and we are going to import a layer layer import import layer now what do i want to use mm. the thing is i can't remember what i just Oh my gosh, I can't remember what I just called that. Flower yellow. I think that's the one we want to use. There we go. And you can see it, it put it all the way at the top. So I what I imported in was the one that already had the transparent layer in there. So we're going to do this. We're going to export this as flower. Um, flower. Flowery two. And we're going to save that. It has some of the similar dialogue. Everything else was off. Yep, that did what I wanted to do. And in filters, they also have artistic, oil paint, uh, posterize. They have a bunch of different uh, filters that you might want to use. That's what posterize looks like. Very cool. So there's a lot of different things that you can do on here. The motion blur there, there's a there's a there's a, a lot of um artistic things that one may do and i can't find it so that's going to be it so that is how i make my photos here's one that i did earlier um here's the here's the yellow flower with the nice real cool border around it to play with so now what we have to do is we have to get them into into our mod. So we have we have our we have our pictures. So this one is not the one. So flower. So you can see how one is higher than the other. That's going to create a cool effect. And our dimensions are 440 by 440. So we have flowery two, flowery one, and over here that was the base one. Here is our finished 
flower with our dimensions. And I did this one too. No, I didn't do that one. I wanted to do that one, but let's go into, let's go into our editor here. Go over to our mods. And we'll start with Gimaldi's the easiest. So we will start with that one first. So in Gimaldi, you have your you have your mod. This is where you store your mods. And this is where the textures live. Now you notice that these textures are all in numerical order. They all follow a same pattern. Gimaldi number underscore 33. And they all have to stay in that order because the mod will the mod will loop over all these pictures. So in the still.lua, we are going to open that up. You can use your favorite uh, text editor. It has, to, it has to be a true text editor. So in Gamaldi, this is the code that is used. We don't have to change anything in here. Uh, visual scale is two. I've played with that. And it kind of, um, it kind of, I, it, when I changed it, it didn't do anything. So that's in here. So we have to, we have to import our pictures into here. And what we are going to do is, this is the easiest one for it. We're going to come back in here. This is flowery one. And we're going to call, we're going to rename this as, well, we're going to copy it first. And then we're going to repaste it in here. It's going to say it's a copy. This one, we're going to rename to Gimaldi underscore 51. And the reason why I did that is because I want to uh, also use it over in my uh, in the other mod. So here we have it. 440 by 440. This one, the yellow flower. No, yeah, the yellow flower is... 440 by 440, so we're going to copy this one and add this one real quickly. Rename it as Jamaldi underscore 52. And there was another one that I thought I had here. Oh, oh yeah. This fog out. This is really, really cool. I want, I'm, I'm really interested to see how this one works and we're going to paste this and we're going to call this one Jamaldi, you guessed it 53 png all right so those are done so we're going to copy those and we're going to go back over to our textures over in Gamaldi, and we are going to add this in and it, it, it's the same there they are, 51, 52, what happened to 53? Ah, I made a mistake. I have to watch that because I didn't use an underscore. There we go. Puts it right in there. So the paintings and animations mod, Gimaldi, or Gimaldi, however it's pronounced, those are in there now. And if you look at, if you look at the ones that come with the mod, you can see that the dimensions are 40, it's square, 128 by 128. That one's in there, 48 by 48, because that, of that transparent box around that. Okay, so this takes care of Gamaldi. Now we have to go back in and look at the billboard mod, which is, which is slightly a little different, a little bit more work to be added in here. So we are going to copy our three pictures. Um, we want that one. And where's our other one? Wow, it would help if I, uh, okay, YF1, 
and then oh yeah i did add that okay so we want this one but we're gonna we're gonna rename no uh, not that one where is it at fog out so fog out and flowery one I think that's going to do flowery yellow two. Oh, we have it. We have it. So we are going to copy those and we're going to go over and we're going to place those in our textures folder. Now we have fog out. We're going to rename that fog for the sake of um, ease. And um, we're going to rename this one flower. I know how um, and flower two, just so it's easier to remember. And they're all PNGs. Okay, and you can see in here that these are all squares also. And on here, now this is where it gets interesting. So we're in the billboard mod and we have to go into the nodes. And what you have to do is we're gonna have to actually go in and program the Lua. So let's go up here and it, it gives you right in that nodes.lua, it gives a template of what you have to add. So we are going to, I, I don't like that, uh, that billboard. So let us copy this and make it real pretty and we're going to paste it. Uh, this one is flower and it is a flower. You can get more, <laughs> you can get more elaborate. We're going to set the vision, the scale, the two, and this is flower. The file name is flower and it is a PNG. And how do I know this? Because We renamed it flower and man, I am just botching this up. Okay. So we have flower, flower two and fog. So we have that. So there's our flower. we are going to add another line, another two. So this is um, flower one. We're just going to flower one PNG. Did I do that right? No, I, I did not do that right. It's flower two. Hopefully there will be no errors because this is unscripted and uncut. So flower two PNG. And then the, so we have that. And now this one's, this one is the fog. Now there has to be a billboard after this. So you follow the same template and this is going to be fog two. And it is, the file is called fog. As you can see here, fog.png, but on here, you put the file name in here and then it, the file type in here. Now we can save that. And I think we got everything. So we have flower. I know there was another one, but for the sake of simplicity, that's going to do it. So 
I am going to copy these up to my server and I will be right back. All right, and we're back. Uh, took a little bit for the server to uh, boot up. But yeah, we're, we're out at one of my new uh, houses that I am creating off of a, uh, a simple uh, modern house that I saw an, an Apple architect, a person that works for Apple and their architecture, uh, most likely had something to do with Spaceship One, the new Apple campus. Has a house similar to this. Unfortunately, another YouTuber has um, kind of already did it. I found it a couple weeks ago and I procrastinated on it. Nevertheless, here's our pictures. So for the billboard mod, you can see our three pictures added in. Now the uh, Gamaldi, the pictures, this is a little different. It's one picture. So we have our pictures here and you can see in our row of other pictures. And just for the sake of, this is what, hap this is what happens when you play with the scaling in the uh, billboards mod. You can see I have two different size pictures here. And this is the one that is 440 by 440. And this one I scaled down. I believe this one is at one. And this one was set to two. So that's that one. Let's see how well our fog picture looks. Oh, that is cool. Yes, and on this painting... <laughs> All right, let's see what the other one does. Pretty cool. I can see that now in, in a newfangled type house. Why not? Let's go back over here and get rid of these so I can put this one up. They turned out really they turned out really nice. Now they, they might not be um they might not. I'm walking backwards. Why? Why am I walking backwards? Do can I put it? No, I can't put it there. They might be a little bit too high resolution for what a person wants. But that looks really cool. If you want to create like an art exhibit or you have a real fancy house that you want to put it in. There you go. So that one, I'm not really too thrilled with that one. But now on the Gamaldi one, you have to cycle through by right clicking on the picture. It was me. And if you don't use a square, like I pointed out before, this, this picture is very similar to how these are laid out. But because I did not have a transparent uh, square behind it, it smushed them. And that's how they're, they're supposed to look and <laughs> not smushed. So these are just different pictures I've worked on in the past. Garage images, placing them differently, different effects on there, different sizes, different, like this is the canvas effect. And there's a castle, the boat. There's one that I did. There's, that one has the um, canvas filter applied to it. Those are botched ones real cool the ones I've made off of my there's a new one there's the one with the uh, oil painting that looks really cool that would fit into the mind test world of the blockiness and there's our new there's our new picture so as you can see here it's identical just two different mods and there's that one and there's that one Very nice. And that's all there is. That's how that's how one does it. Yes, we are awesome. <laughs> so <laughs> um which one don't I have up here? That one. So there you go. That is a very uh basic overview. And it looks really good in this house with this wood and stuff. That is a very basic overview of how to create your pictures and add them into your mods. And like I said, 
the dimensions, everything that you're going to, you're going to have to play with that to get it to exactly the way you want. I created a transparent layer of 440 by 440 pixels. I set the width of my actual layer, the picture at 440. So this is 440 wide by, I believe it was 320 high. It automatically figured it out for me and added it in. And as you can see, here's the finished results. So not a lot of time spent. And that is how you add those pictures or create the pictures to add into those mods. All right, so this, this little tutorial went way over what it was intended for. And, but hopefully this was um, descriptive enough to get one started in creating your own photos and being, you know, photo, uh, adding to your builds. And like I said, there's different filters and everything else that one may use. So that you can make it fit into your little, your little mind test world perfectly. Oh, that, that brilliant. You know, this is a picture from a screenshot from my mind test world. I went the wrong way. Yeah. So we're going to screenshot that for the thumbnail because I always forget. So hopefully, and, and basically, um, Fro, for, Fotor is a paid, uh, they have a free version, which I use, but there's also a, um, a paid version, which allows you to have more filters and frames and different effects. Um, that's for Mac. Uh, GIMP and Krita are open source free software and freely a down, downloadable for Mac, Windows, and Linux. And um, yeah, those are the programs that I use for it. BB Edit, Text Edit, uh, Atom uh, for Mac and Linux. Uh, BB Edit is Mac only. Um, G Edit for Linux and Notepad++ is a great uh, alternative for Windows for uh, editing your Lua files and text files and go from there. So uh, hopefully this was not boring and I don't mind if people skip in my videos. Uh, I don't, I don't abide by the YouTube algorithm. I, I really don't care about that. So basically as a reference photo, one can just a reference video. One can just use to reference different areas in the future. Um, if you have any tips or suggestions to let the let other viewers know about, then uh, please add them into the uh, comments. So thank you very much for watching, and um, yeah, goodbye.